Nobody is going to hurt them. Nobody is going to attack them. This person is not in harm's way. They are free to leave. Nobody is going to hurt them. Nobody is going to attack them. This person is not in harm's way. Yes, they're right in front of me right now. They're going to find me. This person is not in harm's way. I need funds, genocide. I need help. I know that, but they're all they're surrounding me. They won't let me move. No, no, you are free to move. You are free to move. She is free to move. You are free to move. You are free to move. I just think they're surrounding me right now. She's free to move. She's free to leave. She is free to leave. No one is surrounding her. Nobody is surrounding you. She is free to leave. You are free to leave. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's much university. These are students. They're, they're, no, they're surrounding me. I can take a She's video. free to leave. No one is surrounding her. No one is surrounding her. No one is surrounding her. I'm just walking my dog. I need help. She's free to leave. I'm a Jewish American. I need help. Please come and help me. I'm wearing a white Adidas shirt. I have a dog with me. Okay, dog, I need help. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Yeah. Karen says, I need help. I'm a Jewish American. I'm surrounded. I need help. Obviously, the 911 operator on the other side was not buying the story because the first thing would have happened if the 911 operator bought the story is location. Somebody's on the way. Put it a full mass here. Very sad. Now, this happened at Northwestern, according to the one who posted this. I don't have much more information other than what we see. But clearly, she's not surrounded. Clearly, nobody is stopping her from moving. Clearly, it is her who wants to be there, call the police, and weaponize the conversation that could end badly for somebody else. Doesn't matter to her. You know, it didn't matter to this person either. Remember? Central Park Karen. Now, we have to talk about the similarities of this entire thing. The polls, the narrative, even the way they're holding their dog. Okay? I'm convinced there must be a Karen University somewhere. Where do you get this kind of training from? I'm sure you all don't know each other. You must have, you must have the same professor. Where's the damn secret university, Karen? That's what we need to find out. Okay. All right. David, thoughts here. I guess poodles or poodle mixes are also part of the requirement there because it looks like she's got some sort of doodle that she's with. And part of the dogs seem to be, you know, fine. They're, the dogs are not scared. So usually yeah. that's the first telltale sign. Like if a dog is really afraid, then Okay, the dog is sensing something going on with human beings. If the dog is just sort of happy to be there, then I don't think the human being is facing any safety. And, and look, the serious side of all of this is people who claim whether it's you know anti-Semitic, whatever it is, you diminish real anti-Semitism when you make up this sort of fake nonsense. If you call the police on somebody because you're feeling threatened and they're not a threat, you actually diminish what real threats are, and that's. Yep. You know, yeah. so that's like the, the double edged sword in all of this is that not only are you, you know, suggesting to the police that maybe police shouldn't believe you, but then you're also suggesting the police you can be slower the next time somebody calls. And oh, by the way, next time maybe something was really happening and the police don't get there fast enough. So it's it's a problem all the way around. Yep, well said. I agree with you wholeheartedly. 